Welcome to the Green Solvents Podcast, brought to you by TBF Environmental Technologies, home of solvents for a green earth. Now, here's your host. Well, yes, this is your host, Eric Reynolds, and I'm here with Dave Pazin, president of TBF Environmental. And today we're going to talk with Dave about environmentally friendly solvents and their use in today's workplace. Now, before Dave joins us, just as a reminder that if you have questions or require assistance, you can reach Dave at 604-580-1575. Again, that's 604-580-1575. Well, Dave, let me welcome you to the call. Thank you, Eric. Well, Dave, I'm excited about the call today and uh, getting to know a little bit more about the products and your company. So let's go ahead and get to it. Let me ask you this. What is the background of Turgosol? Turgosol, uh, it's an interesting it was an interesting product that we had developed over the over time in speaking with our clients. What we found was there was a demand. Um, every one of them actually asked us for, uh, do we have an alternative that they can use in cleaning to things like acetone or methyl ethyl ketone or, or uh, in some cases, isopropyl alcohol. So, we, you know, what we did was we talked to our chemist and we looked at what we could do. And there were certain parameters that were essential. It had to have fast evaporation. It had to be VOC exempt. It had to be safe. Um, and it had to be benzene-free. So it took a while to develop, and as an offshoot of one of our other products, we actually came up with the uh, Turkisol product, which was tested by uh, Scientific Materials, Inc. in Miami for aerospace and PASS. So it's designed essentially as a precision cleaner to replace, as I said, acetone or methyl ethyl ketone, um, isopropyl alcohol in the workplace for, for use in a variety of different substances. So you're saying there's a, a handful of solvents that it can replace then? Absolutely. There's a variety of different substances that it can replace. All of them are rather toxic in one form or another, including isopropyl alcohol or, as I said, methyl ketone or acetone. Acetone isn't a well-liked solvent. It's, it's exempt in the United States and Canada for a variety of different reasons, but it's not a very safe solvent. It's got a very, very low flash point, and um, people don't like it. Uh, the odor, uh, it burns the skin. It does a variety of different things. It has the central nervous system, depressants, that kind of thing. So um, they've been looking for alternatives for some time, and they've looked at a variety of different alternatives. A lot of them have been ethanol-based, um, but those are what are called volatile organic compound-containing materials. So they don't really fill the need, even though that they're classed as green. So we were looking for something that um, was actually a VOC exempt, or volatile organic compound exempt, that didn't hurt your skin and that was effective didn't leave residue and evaporated fast, and hence we arrived at the Turgosol product. Well, Dave, now what are the uses of Turgosol? Well, Turgosol has got a wide variety of uses, actually. It can be used to replace, as I said, the solvents we had discussed in things like precision cleaning, where you need a fast evaporation but no residue on the surface. It can be used on a variety of different metals and composites, carbon fiber, fiberglass, um, aluminum, steel, non-ferrous metal, other non-ferrous metals. So it has a wide variety of uses. We had it tested, as I said, by Scientific Materials Lab in Miami, and it passed a variety of different testing, including uh, sandwich corrosion, hydrogen embrittlement, and stress corrosion cracking tests. And it didn't discolor the, the material. There was no evidence of cracking, uh, that kind of thing. So it was actually very, very effective for use in precision cleaning and aerospace applications. And, that was its primary focus. We're now finding that it's uh, very effective for use in, in uh, companies that are uh, dealing with fiberglass or composites where they need to clean their tools or the surface preparation prior to painting or cleaning their guns, things like that. So it has a wide variety of uses. It has a higher flash point than acetone or methyl ethyl ketone and isopropyl alcohol, so it's far safer that way as well. It contains no benzene, so it's non-carcinogenic. Um, and it's VOC exempt throughout the United States. Uh, now, Dave, where can Turgosol be used, and what are its purposes? Turgosol is an interesting product because, as I mentioned, it was designed for surface preparation as a precision cleaner, general-purpose surface wipe cleaner for uh, general and heavy-duty degreasing. And, and this is rather interesting. It's, it can really be used as a laboratory and equipment wipe solvent uh, to replace things like acetone and, and methyl ethyl ketone in a far safer fashion. It's an extremely high high purity and uh, non-toxic biodegradable product. Um, and that's really important these days when people they, people have a right to know what they're using. So, it, it, you know, it doesn't contain any hazardous air pollutants, um, and it's just safer for the worker. 
And Turkisol can be used, it really has a wide variety of uses. It can be designed in paint formulations and cleaning, ink and marker formulations and that type of cleaning. Uh, adhesive formulations and cleaning can be used for hard surface cleaning. As I said, on um, on ferrous, non-ferrous metals, composites, fiberglass, that kind of thing. It has a wide variety of applications. It can be used to clean greases and oils. Um, not so much lithium-based greases, but a variety of other types of greases it works very effective on. What we're really particularly proud of, it has aerospace cleaning applications. So it can be used in a variety of purposes for cleaning and degreasing everything from the fuselage to engines and aerospace. It can be used in automotive uh, purposes for cleaning or removing tar and adhesives and variety of different things like that to replace a number of chemicals used in the automotive industry. It also has great efficacy as a nail polish and polish remover. Um, so it can remove polishes and nail polishes very effectively, which is quite interesting. So, um, you know, those are the kind of applications. There's a wide variety of applications. It has great efficacy and it's safer for the worker, and that's the bottom line. So we, we think Turgosol is a great product for a wide variety of uses in cleaning, in cleaning applications to replace very toxic materials in the workplace. Well, let me ask you this question. Now, what are the solvency characteristics of Turgosol? Well, Turgosol is an interesting one. Um, it wasn't designed primarily for use in formulations, for formulations of whether it be paints, coatings, inks, or adhesives, but it has great solvency and solubility, so it tends to dissolve a variety of different products, such as, you know, um, inks, a variety of different types of adhesives, greases, oils. It doesn't work very well in, um, in lithium-based grease applications, but, you know, there's a variety of different products that will. In this case, though, um, it, uh, it has, it's very soluble, so it tends to dissolve inks, a variety of different types of inks, organic and inorganic inks. It, it, ball, it dissolves or cleans a variety of different types of coatings, whether they be epoxies, urethanes, or alkyds, cleans saturated and unsaturated, polyesters, uh, fiberglass, that kind of thing. So it has a wide variety of applications and effective on a wide variety of different types of materials and substrate. Well, what about the solubility characteristics of Turgosol? Uh, the solubility characteristics are very good. Um, as I mentioned, um, it dissolves. It can be used as a, a paint remover. It can be used effectively removing graffiti or, you know, paints or coatings off certain types of surfaces. Uh, it can be used um, to dissolve certain adhesives. It can be used to dissolve certain types of fiberglass or polyester resins, alkyd resins, uh, urethane resins, depending on the composition. So it has very good solubility, depending on what it's being used for. But um, overall, its overall composition and efficacy is very, very strong. Well, since we're talking about solvents, what about the evaporation rate of Turgosol? Evaporation rate is excellent. Uh, one of the things that pleases our customers is that it does evaporate and doesn't leave any residue. So the evaporation rate is, is actually similar to um, acetone. So um, people are very pleased with that, so they can get a nice wipe, they can get a nice clean with no residue, and they can move on to whatever application, whether it be surface preparation prior to painting or for uh, composite, uh, you know, a gluing or adhesive onto composite or whatever the case may be. So um, it's very effective that way, and it allows the operator or the, the handler to clean, the, uh, clean it efficiently and quickly and safely, and that's really what the whole point of it is. It's designed to improve the occupational health and safety of the worker, improve the environment by not committing, by not uh, emitting any um, volatile organic compounds, any ozone depleters or ozone creators, um, and it's designed to make sure that the operator stays safe so he, he doesn't get stoned or high or, or the, the odor affects his central nervous system or hearing or any other thing. Well, let me ask you one last question here, Dave. Now, where is Turgosol exempt? Turgosol is exempt throughout the United States including portions of California. However, in other parts of California, it is classed as a VOC material, a low VOC material, and it's classed as about 75 grams per liter. So it does have some VOC content in, in the state of California, particularly in the uh, Southern California Air Quality Management District and in CARB, which is the California Air Resources Board. However, um, in the other 49 states, it is completely exempt. Well, Dave, you know, it's been such a really fascinating conversation learning all this information about Turgosol, but unfortunately we are out of time. Now, if for the listeners, you know someone who would benefit from what we've talked about here today, why don't you go ahead and share this podcast with them? I'm sure they'll thank you for it. Now, I also want to give you some information about Dave and about TBF Environmental. Their website is at www.tbfenvironmental.com. Again, that's www.tbfenvironmental.com. 
And of course, you can always reach Dave by telephone at 604-580-1575. Again, that's 604-580-1575. Now, Dave, for myself, for the listeners, thanks so much for the conversation today. It was really good. Thank you very much. Thanks for listening. At TBF Environmental Technologies, we manufacture solvents for a green earth. Contact TBF Environmental Technologies today, toll free at 877-658-3681. That's 877-658-3681. And on the web at tbfenvironmental.com. That's www.tbfenvironmental.com.